What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more, um... Welcome to a new project. This is, a uh, Super Mario 3D World. My first playthrough on the channel of a game that is from the 2010s, and, uh... I think it's a really solid Mario game, despite that it is a Wii U game we're talking about. I don't, I don't trash the... I don't want to do, like... Say, like, this is Nintendo's worst selling console, I just have to automatically crash it. There are only some good games on the Wii U, and this happens to be one of them. And, um, let's get this started. Now, um, I'd say it's like the best of the 3D Mario's, but, like, after covering a game as complex as Earthbound, I needed to, like, simplify my next playthrough, and, uh, let's get this started. Anyway, so these two are my practice playthroughs right here. I did, like Earthbound, much like the last playthrough, I did a total of two different practice playthroughs on this. And, uh, to basically create a playthrough that is my satisfaction. And, um, yeah, so I think, um, we're gonna start on file three. And, um, now, much like Mario 2, um... There's a, much like Mario 2, there's a choice of four characters. There's Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. I will fully, I will give full utilizations of all of them, but, um, we're gonna start off with Mario, but, um, yeah, as the American Mario 2, this game takes a lot of liberties from Mario 2. Anyways, there are some fireworks. Yay, I love how they use the wrenches. This is like the, one of the few times the whole Mario franchise they do. And there's those items! And Bowser has kidnapped the Sprixies, and um... Yeah, this is the main plot of the game. Um, apparently thinks he's Link, let's just say. And Peach goes- I like that Peach just goes in first and the others follow. Cause like, out of all people that follow Bowser, just Peach falls her. I guess Bowser got bored of kidnapping Peach, that's one thing that'll differentiate this game from other Mario games, is that, uh, Peach is actually not kidnapped. And because I'm playing single player, I love that only Mario comes out. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is basically a, uh, sequel to Super Mario 3D Land, which is a 3DS game. I'd say this is better than Super Mario 3D Land, um, I'm actually playing through Super Mario 3D Land as we are doing this playthrough. I still think it's a decent game, but, like, this kind of, like, get, this kind of, like, perfected the idea that was used in Mario 3D Land, kind of did it better, and, um, this basically... This basically like Super Mario 3D Land, it kind of combina combinates elements from 2D Mario and 3D Mario. Like, um, this is also a new power-up. This is the cat suit. Now, um, the cat suit basically lets you, um, the cat suit lets you claw enemies, much like an actual cat would. And also, on top of that, it lets you climb up walls. It's just a very solid suit. It's a very under- I thought until the Mario movie came out that, like, uh, last year, that was, like, a pretty un underappreciated suit. Like, Nintendo is really, like, this game has gotten a re-release on the Switch, and I am playing the Wii U version because, um, let's just say it's the version I'm more familiar with, because the Switch version has faster running speeds, but I also feel that leads to easier deaths. Now, this will be a 100% playthrough. Now, this is going to be, um, 100% in Super Mario 3D Land is, uh, Super Mario 3D World is, um, all, all green stars in every stage, all stamps in every stage, like we see here. And we have to top the flagpole at the end of every stage. That's basically what goes on 100% of this game. Now, uh, we want to climb up this tree if we want to get the, all the green stars. But yeah, like, one thing I'm not too much of a fan of Super Mario 3D Land is that, like, um... Is, like, um... In order to 100% that game, you have to play every stage as multiple characters. This game kind of lessens that, but, like, um... 
There are going to be some stages where we're only going to use where we're only going to be at least certain characters for to get 100% in. Okay, so um, now I'm going to get a. I'm just going to if you press a if you press the minus button, you can actually bring out a cat and draw. It's another thing they bring from the 2D Mario's. I do think this is a really solid game. I think it's one of the better games on the Wii U. Um, um. I'd say it's not, it's not one of Nintendo's most appreciated consoles because, to be fair, it's it's their lowest on console. Because, like, um, even though I've talked trash about Mario Party 10 in the past, and like, um, Mario Tennis also Smash is also a trash game. There are some good games on the Wii U, like um, Super Mario 3D World, even like Captain Toad's Treasure Trackers, which I'll get more into that game a, a little bit later in this. But um, Hyrule Warriors is good. Mario Maker One's good. Smash Four is good. Like, there are good games. It's just they're mostly first titles, party stuff. I mean, even the because like the thing the Wii U is um even if, like um there's a lot of first party games that are good. Like even the first party games, I wouldn't rank as high as the first party games from other consoles. Anyway, so um let's give Luigi a shot. Um I'm gonna switch out the characters for the first four levels, kind of show them all in this part. But um after that, I think I'm just gonna stick with Mario, and you'll see why for a bit. You'll see why a bit later. Now there's a there's a here's a trick I think everybody knows even though I'm not gonna fully utilize it. So you basically um grab one of these Koopa shells and basically put them in a uh, put them like in a position like this and um I'll basically kind of demonstrate it. Yeah, you can kind of give an infinite lives trick, but uh I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I try not to cheat in these playthroughs. But yeah, that's basically a trick everybody knows in the, about this game. So that's the first uh, thing, and um, I think if I remember correctly, I want to go back up there. I want to go back up there. I want to go back up there. I remember there was something up there. See, I did play a lot of this game, like when it came out, and like um, I would say, like um, I say it's the Wii U game I have the most fond memories with, and that's probably why I chose to play through this game because like. I wouldn't normally cover play through something this recent, but like, um, even though this game is like 10 years old, but like, um, I don't know, it's like, there's gonna be a gap, like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll cover some Switch, I'll play through some Switch era games, but it would also depend on the game. I try not to play through games I find too recent, and this game's like 10 years old now, so I've had chances to play this. Anyway, so this is kind of a challenge room where you basically, um... Drop this game is gonna be challenge room, but basically you have a t time limit to defeat enemies to get star coins. It was also in Super Mario 3D Land, but it also had a different purpose. Now, one thing about these uh, pipes is that uh, if you press it down at the right time, which I failed to do, but um, you can kind of get those coins. It, it kind of makes you let you move in those platforms. Now, what? I'm a fan of with this game's multiplayer system is you can sh you can you share lives and also on top of that wow I didn't even know that was there. Let's get the one ups. Get the one ups. No. Anyway, so um, one thing I'm not too much of a fan of in uh of the multiplayer this game is that you share lives and uh, there's also like uh, I do like the competition with the crown, but I don't like the sharing lives part. Anyway, so here's a trick if you want to um, guarantee yourself you can get up at the top of that flat hole. Just a long jump. And as we fail to do. So yeah, this is only the second level and we have to redo it to get the flagpole. And you know what that means. You know what that means, right? I, f I failed to get the top pole, the flag pole, the second level in the game. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, what we're gonna have to do next is um, the second attempt out of the video. That flag pole, I would say, is much harder if you're Mario or Toad. I'll kind of elaborate more on that ease on that later. How you can uh, easier that easier that out. I don't know how easiering that out is a term, but um. Anyway, so this is our first, uh, this is our first kind of, like, boss enemy, and, um, 
Let's use Peach. Now, um, I should kind of explain these character strengths and weaknesses. Peach is the slowest at running, has a mediocre jump, but uh, she can float. And uh, Luigi has mediocre running speed, and um, but he has awesome jumping. And um, Mario is all around. Um, Mario is all around in terms of running and jumping. And Toad can run really fast, but he jumps the lowest. It's basically the same as in Mario 2. This game takes a lot of elements from Mario- takes a lot of throwbacks from Mario 2. I'll try pointing out as many of them as possible. See, like, um, this was after the new Super Mario Brothers franchise ended because, um, this is also a Mario 3 throwback. But, like, um, I'm just gonna get the cat suit, but, um, See, like, this was like the New Super Mario Bros. series kind of ended with New Super Mario Bros. U, and, like, um... Believe it or not, I would not hold New Super Mario Bros. U fondly in terms of Wii U games, because, like... See, like, I played New Super Mario Bros. DS and all that, and, like, Wii, and, like, um... DS holds up, I don't think Wii holds up as well, 2's alright, but, like, um... By the time it got to New Super Mario Bros. U, it kind of came from, from, like, not nice throwback to uncomfortable throwback and that's where the uh, star is now we're just gonna use toad in this level after i'm done with toad i'm just gonna stick i'm just gonna stick to using mario for a bit and you'll see what i mean in later if you've played this game or especially if you beat this 100 percent so yeah this is another one of these challenges you basically hit the p switch and get the coins this is definitely the easiest hell if you use Toad. I say that as I miss a coin. Make sure you also have the cat suit. And then we got the, uh, star, we got the green star, yes. Anytime I either fail to get all the green stars or, um, fail to top the flagpole or fail to find the stamp, I... See, the reason I did, um, two practice playthroughs is this, so I had, I ensured I knew where all this shit is. Because, like, when, when I did the first practice playthrough, I had not played this game since maybe, um, since the Switch port came out. And prior to that, it would have been, like, prior to that last time I played this would have been, like, 2017, I think. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a game I played a lot when it was new, but it's a game I don't really play too often these days, even though I do think this is a solid game. If you're gonna play any Wii U game, you might as well play this one, or Mario Maker, or Smash 4. Let's see if we can get a 1-up. So we got all the uh, star coins, that is beautiful. So yeah, it's... it's 3D Land is like, um, I'd say it's a, this is the difference between also, because Super Mario 3 Land's a handheld, so it's, I'd say it's shorter in length, but like, um, I guess that's why it takes longer to 100%, because it's shorter in length, but like, um, because both games have its own post-game, and I'll kind of more elaborate later, and also, if you use the cat suit, you can just climb up to the top of the flagpole. So now that I've uh, showcased all four characters in this, um, I think it's time better than ever, it's better late than ever to wrap up on this uh, first part of Super Mario 3D World. So um, next time in Super Mario 3D World, we're just going to do these remaining stages in World 1, so I'll see you guys next time.